Hello everyone, it is I, Ravenwood, and welcome back to On the Shelf with Daggertron. <laughs> um, and he's, he's, um, he's a Maximal. He's a, he's a, he's uh and this is his War for Cybertron version. Um, and this is, he, he's like Cheetor, but bigger. And with some things, you know, it, it, I don't know if his transformation is a lot easier to do or if Cheetor's is a lot easier to do. Personally, um, I don't know. I haven't transformed them both a whole lot. I don't, I don't typically transform something that I have already transformed. I'm just like, I'm done transforming the character. Once I've done transforming the character, I just put them on the shelf until... Makes sense. Uh, but I will. I will grab them. Oh, give me a second. Yeah, here, here is. Here is for scale. And then this is what he looks like. In, and this is what it looks like. Now, last month, both February and the last couple of months, but last February and March, um, I could not. Um, make videos not that I could not but like I just it there's a lot of class work you know it, it's college and whatnot and so like you know um just also just just trying to like be motivated to do this I guess I don't know uh it's it's just they were just odd months, um, but thankfully, I, <laughs> I'll, what I'll do this month is I'll do three, I think. Yeah, I'm missing out on February's transforming uh, ep episode or whatever, and I'm also missing March, so I'll do April's. So yeah, here's the March episode <laughs> now, <laughs> and so the no, yeah, the February. The February I never did. I, I never done. I don't think I did a February one. It was supposed to be a mini. I, I was supposed to do like a small one. I, I, I wanted to do a small. Yeah, it was. Um, I never did. Uh, uh, I never. Um, wheelie, wheelie. I never did wheelie. Uh, never. I never approached. I never got to it. Um. But uh, here's here's Tiger John. Um, I'll do Wheelie next, and then I'll do April's. <laughs> I'll do a April's uh, Transformer. Um, I'll tell you later about April's. April is going to be. I'll tell you now. I'll tell you now. A April is uh, it's going to be Cup. I have been. Keep him on the shelf because I had a few frustrations when it, when it came to transforming him. Maybe, maybe now that I'll um, see what I can do. Um, let's open the instructions. That's just a side. Um, I have yet to reverse transform Cheetor. But that's only because I like him in this cat mode. But first, um, of course, his weapons are similar to that of Gior's. Disappointingly, though, he has one more weapon that he does not. And he has a weapon that naturally I didn't think would be a weapon. But he has a, uh, a cat tail whip. <laughs> Jump scare. <laughs> Boo. <laughs> Didn't mean to do that. Probably. Maybe I did. Who knows. Um. There. <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> that was a bit impulsive. Um. I can move his. His. If I could rotate it properly. I can move it. On. Move his paws up and over his head, and they can pretend to be like guns, I guess. 
Pew, pew. Pew, pew. Right. But let's put the back down for right now. I think it's they're not his backpack, right? They're his legs. Cat legs. He can move his arms. I like I like how well posable his arms can be. Um they can move up, down. Um his wrist can rotate. Um there goes his tail. Um I have no idea what <laughs> these are for, these little... <laughs> yeah, the, those little holes, posts. I mean, I guess they're meant for like, the weaponizers. Oh, I have rotated. Weaponizers or something. But uh, let me see what I could do. I guess I could put his tail there for like storage. It would be just so weird. How would we, how would he walk? <laughs> That'd be just awkward. Uh, let me let me put come on. But you will work with me. I'm gonna put your f tail into your foot, which is weird. There we go. Yeah, see that looks weird. But hey, if you want to do it, there's there's an idea. He can put his tail into his foot for some reason. <laughs> See, it works. It's perfectly balanced. You could take his his cat gun brain thing, and we could also put it into his um, foot. Problem is, it'll be at the side because this the back end of the gun takes up space. So we could we could put that on. We could, we could put it like this. I don't know what he would use. I, I don't know what he, how he would... Now now it just looks weird. He's got like a weird gun on the touch to his foot. What, what would he tell his mom about this? <laughs> what would he tell uh, Optimus Primal? Like, how would... Would anyone understand how, how would that work? Um... Okay, so you can put stuff there, uh, that is, and they tend to collapse. Oh, um, so yeah, there's those weapons. Um, do the weapons combine? No, but I'm pretty sure you can combine this gun with some other gun. But you can also put uh, again his his uh gun into his wrist like that. So so he'll have like. Undershoot, right? You can put his you know, whip, whip gun, bad kitty, bad bad kitty. <laughs> or or or, he could store it in the back. Maybe no, he cannot. He cannot. There's no storage in the back. But we could put his tail in a little tail right there in the back huh. right there <laughs> here we can put his tail right there if we want if the characters do not drop out of our hand huh. we need to put it like this so yeah problem is is that now it's Problem is, is that um, the way his torso is built, it just looks awkward. See, it just looks awkward because also the way the tail is designed. We could flip it over around. Let's see, what, let's see what we could do. It doesn't fit right. I don't think it's supported by anything, but or supported. But you know, that actually looks much better. Now you're probably wondering, can we put the cat gun there? Okay, well, let's see what we can do. I mean, hey, wouldn't it be a video if we didn't try out all the possible things? Now he has a gun. <laughs> this reminds me of uh, Astro Boy. A machine gun on my butt? <laughs> um, oh, 
don't think that could be removed, but it looks like it might come off. I don't want to try something that I don't know. But anyways, so yeah, you could put, I'm on this road, put it right there. You could, I guess, put it the other way, right? Now it's, now you could shoot at the front end. Let's not do that ever again. Um, I guess you could also put the tail um, on his wrist. Let's, yeah, let's just put it on his ribs, wrist, right? There, now we can under whip. These things, I understand that the, like the shoulder pads, but they get in the way a bit sometimes. Not all the time, just they, they kind of get in the way. So now you can whip from like the side. Not very functional because it tends to fall, rotate. But you get the point. You can move his legs. Bend his, bend his knees, not a nice bend, but it's, if you can bend his knees like that, not all the way. So, we could, yeah, we could bend his knees. He can't bend this foot because the thing right there is in the way. I don't know if Cheater can also do that, but anyways. So, yeah, you get Tiger John, he can move his head side to side. Like, it's very, can't move up and down, not so much down movement but it's all right take a drone's mouth can be open Rawr. <laughs> now for transforming tiger drawn whoops um so what we don't want to do is put his arms out to the side like that right um then we want to take these pieces and move them out like that. Do the same on the other side. Make sure they're nice and spread apart. Then we want to move his hands up and over in front of the pieces that we just pushed out. So now we got this going on. And arguably, kind of looks cool like this. Kind of, kind of looks cool like that already. I don't know why I did to have to cover that. Uh, uh, then what we want to do is move his wrist upwards like this. So now he's like boxing, right? Or he's you know he's kind of defending himself. Oh, let me hold. Let me put him down. He's kind of defending. <laughs> Anyways, um, and then you want to rotate his arms this way to where they peg into the slots right there. So they're going to naturally just do that. Rotate his wrist. So now you want the tiger drawn to look like this, right? Tiger drawn, maximize. And fall down a lot. Gosh, you are not there. So it's shoot. <laughs> right? Now we're gonna pop his head. <laughs> I know it's, we're gonna take his hold him by the tiger head and just gently lift it up. This moves both his head and his other head. So he essentially has two heads to be moved. Quite moving. Now we're going to take this head and just push it down. Just put it down. Now we'll take his other head and then push it, rotate it inwards like that. So now his head is tucked away like that. And we're going to push his head into his head. So. We're just putting his head inside another head. It's kind of like a mask. Almost. Hmm. <laughs> we're going to flip the instructions. Now we're going to push, take this head. 
rotate it when I want to rotate the entire figure 180 degrees so we can see what we're doing. See, there's a little slot right there. You push this and it goes down into the slot. And you just make sure it's not wanting to, yeah, it's 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 good. It's just, it looks like that. Take his arms, see, we uh, the tiger drawn arms or the tiger arms. And we're going to push the, the entire everything forward. Push everything forward. I don't know why. That was weird or weirdly complicated the way the connections wanted us to have it. So we're gonna push everything together. So see these little, see this gap, this needs to be pushed together as well. So what we can do, push then close, make sure, and then push these, these parts. Uh, rotate this to make sure it's facing this way. Rotate them facing that way and then just Ow. <laughs> Make sure your thumbs are out of the way. Push them together like that. And then you're going to push the chest together like that. Thumbs are important for pushing chest together. I think. <laughs> so we're now going to have him just positioned. Pulls right there. So now he should look something like that. More or less. Let's fix his foot. Let's fix both feet. More or less. More or less like that. It's okay. It doesn't have to be perfect. As long as perfect. <laughs> it doesn't have to be perfect. Uh, anyways, so you want the paws out like that. And now what we're going to go do, do is the feet. So now we got this like humanoid cat. Hello, I am humanoid cat. I am very puzzled today. <laughs> I'm a gentleman. Anyway, see you. I don't know why I'm being silly. So you want him out that. It looks like he's doing push some sort of lunge, some sort of like exercise, like some sort of lunge push. Anyway, anyways, um, I'm distracted today. Uh, one tick, one of have him fly out like this. You would take his feet. Oh no, wait. Yeah, you want hold on to his foot. that's right there. Grab it and then just pull. Grab it. And pull. So I, I guess we could have done this when when he was in robot mode. My bad. Um. And then what's it? What I want it wants you to do is push the feet up. Push the feet up. To where they're flat. Now there's something in. Now there's something that wants us. Oh, okay. So. You want to push, you want to see see those holes, you want to push them in to where you get, you want to push your finger in to where these are flat out. Okay. Um, now with the, the, the robot feet, I'm going to tuck in these toes into the, they're tuck in the heels, my bad. Tuck them the heels into the foot. Then I'm gonna rotate them, push them into the foot or into the leg. My bad, the thigh. Do the same thing with the other one. So I'm gonna rotate it. Typically, and you should hear a small little click. That's because something is clicking into place. Now we're gonna 
push this and line line up it uh, line up one of the um, upper thighs to the side here. And you're gonna push the leg down. Push it down. Kind of like that. Do the same thing on the other side of the foot. Right there. Now, since we got him on all fours, we want to at least move the paws, the feet, the limbs to where at least you can bounce on them, right? Give some room between his legs like that so that we can then finally put in the gun. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Well, we could, we could put the gun there. It's not gonna look pretty. We put the gun there. You could do like an arrow assault, I guess, or <laughs> it kind of looks weird. You could put the gun facing this way. Shoot at the bugs up in, in below, I guess. I don't know. But what the instructions want us to do is we put the tail into the hole right there. And then close up his feet like that. That way. And there you go. Read. Okay, there you go. Take a drop. Uh, and the instructions want what you they want you to do with the gun. Um, is just plug it in right there. See, just plug it in right there, and it's just a little area. Yes, you can put another gun there. So let me grab a, or something. Let me grab Optimus Prime's gun. And then uh, I guess what you could also do is just put, a, put the other gun right here. Or another gun right here. Yeah, see? Now he's got two guns there. Yeah. Or some sort of something. Well, you could put a shield down there, I guess. It, it looks weird, but like, hey. Yeah, you know, we could put Optimus Prime's shield right there. And then you could just... Or his axe, you know, transform it into an axe mode. <laughs> Whoops. Right. And then just. It just like starts. <laughs> hold on, wait, wait, hold on. Wait, I said wait. <laughs> Sorry. Um. Hold on. Put the axe there, and then put the shield over here. There. <laughs> and can the tail tail smack? No, it cannot. It will fall right off if you do so. Um. But yeah, you get the point. There's Tiger Tron. He's. And here's Chidor. Comparison. Let me straighten out his legs so that you can see he's standing up straight. There's Tiger John, there's Cheetor. Here's uh, Optimus Prime in comparison in, in truck mode. Obviously, it scales perfectly. <laughs> um, yay! And so that is the um, end of the episode. Um, please leave a like if you like this video. Um, found this interesting i found it I, I i had fun i hope you had fun uh i hope you all had fun and oh no i can't undo this but anyways uh this is the end of the episode the next episode will be wheelie and then i'll do a cup video and we'll yeah cup <laughs> cups next after uh wheelie and yeah have a nice day um springs here be safe stay healthy and remember protect the animals protect the wildlife protect nature we all need it bye bye